face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what's up guys, and a small update here before we go in today's episode of Who Is Really Better. Uh, from next week, we will do some overarching designs with in-game um, visuals for the Who Was Really Better. So this is the last episode, we're going to just have still pictures. I just want to mention that, and now, of course, we're going to today's matchup. Ooh, what is up guys and of course welcome back to another episode of who was really better and this week's matchup we have john mega versus venomoth and they are very very incredible pokemon on their own merits being most famous for the tinted lens ability overall and being able to actually hurt anything that comes in naturally and do a heavy, heavy amount of damage. They both are incredible sweepers, both can set up, both can do a lot of nasty stuff. And we have them together, while they are functional differently in some aspects, they still are most famous for the tinted lens abilities. We're going to actually do divide and talk about which one of these are really better by design, but also, of course, how they work in battles overall and, of course, in league format. And hopefully, after going over their stats, ability, move pool, and, of course, typing, we're going to hope to find which one of these two really are, of course, better. Now, first and foremost, one will have to talk about their typing because it do actually differentiate one another really a whole lot. So Venomoth is, of course, a combination of a bug and poison, which will mean that it's strong to resist finding and grass. It resists after that actually bug, fairy, poison, or weak to four typing, which are fairly common with fire, flying, psychic, and rock. But overall, this typing does give it a few defensive capability, but Bug as a whole is a really, really lackluster type in defensively, so there are a lot of things that does carries over here. Uh, but overall, I would say the Venomoth defensively is kind of capable. When it comes to your Mega, though, they start to screech a little bit, but because the bug flying typing overall is known to be one of the worst in the game. So we have the immunity of ground, fighting, and grass, same thing here, stronger resistance here. And resist regular which of course are bug other than that we only have weaknesses electric fire flying ice and of course very weak to rocks so overall here these two are both incredible nerfed by stealth rocks but john mega definitely free falls from a switching with of course rocks in mind while the venomoth is not necessarily that heavily affected but at the same time here it comes to resistances versus of course um its weaknesses is very clear that Venomoth, due to its combination here, is much, much more desirable than John Mega. It doesn't mean that John Mega necessarily are, are def that bad, but the abilities here in its typing definitely showcase that John Mega is very, very fresh up by default. But as we all know, typing isn't everything, and therefore we're going to talk about their stats. And they actually have some common traits here, but it's very clear which one does what. Uh, Venomoth here has 70 HP versus 86 on John Mega, so it's a bit more bulkier. Offensively on attack, we have 65 versus 76, so even at this punch, Omega does stand out. Defensively, Venomoth has 60 versus 86 on John Mega, so yet again, John Mega is by default bulkier. Special attack, we have 90 versus 116, so John Mega also here stands out and being more specially capable. Uh, special defense though is pretty much the only thing Venomoth does stand out here with 75 versus 56 but due to of course the extra HP in Gen Mega uh, it's very very clear that it could be well not as bulky because the shared ball from the HP kind of helps that defense to actually stand out but it definitely is a lackluster part of Gen Mega and then we come to speed stat 90 on Venomoth very very respectable for bug typing but Gen Mega is still faster with 95 so as a whole there while of course the typings themselves really showcase that Venomoth can take a lot more damage Gen Mega has more things to offer by stats it's, it's bulkier it's heavily hitting on both of both the physical and the special side but as a whole here, it's very clear that Venomoth is lackluster in its stats. Now the only thing left to talk about between these two is of course their abilities, and they do show one ability as stated before this video. Tinted Lens is what defines this Pokemon, it's made every resisted hit hit neutrally. And trust me with this power and capability of these Pokemon are, being able to spam Bug Buzz, which is definitely one of the things that stands out, is one of the most diverse things you're able to do in the game. Most likely Steel Touch is the things that go into really resisting both of these Pokemon, and being able to capitalize on Tinted Lens really, really does pressure a lot of them. Now they do differentiate between one another's abilities, but instead of Tinted Lens is the most desirable one with both of them actually. But we have Shield Dust and Wonder Skin on Venomoth versus Frisk and Speed Boost on John Mega. 
Uh, shield does very interesting move overall. It just basically means that a uh, secondary effect from attacking moves such as Skull, for example, do not have a very, very unlikely chance of actually scoring that burn. And again, with Wonder Skin, would basically means that any type of affecting moves reduced by 50% that aren't offensively important, such as Will Wisp and Toxic, will have a 50% chance of actually hitting the same thing with the likes of Spore. So it's not that easily capitalized or whittled down by the likes of Funnel Boy or anything like that. It actually is very, very have an easy time getting out of the situation you want to capitalize on a different set of moves with Quetta Mods. Now with that said, Energon Mega with of course Frisk and Speed Boost. Frisk uh, is an ability that does make sure that you can see the items you're opposing Pokemon and of course Speed Boost. For every extra turn that you are active in battle, your speed will be increased by 1 or 50%. So, a really, really good combination of abilities. Well, I would say that Venomoth has the one that are effectively better for setup situation. I would say John Mega's ability is a slightly better speed boost. Definitely is one that I think can be capitalized on. Since both of these Pokemon will most likely use Tinted Lens to be able to capitalize on doing a heavy amount of damage output, I would say that being able to like the speed boost and you can capitalize on that in a league situation, John Mega becomes easily the more desirable here. But as stated here, Venomous abilities are very, very good and can definitely be defined to a specific situation, but John Mega's abilities are easier to use and more versatile overall, in my honest opinion. That said, I do believe both are really relevant. But as we all know, a Pokemon is only as strong as his move pool, and therefore we're going to talk about, of course, their move pool. And they actually share a lot of things between one another, but also a few things that does stand out with both of them. So first we're going to talk about what they share, and then we're going to define which difference between them. So a quick rundown about their relevant moves is that they both get access to Bug Bus, which are the primary stab, clearly with Tinted Lens in mind. We also have U-Turn, which you want to pivot, you're able to do just so. Uh, we have Psychic and we have Giga Drain, which are both good secondary filler moves for these two Pokemon. Uh, together with, of course, one of the more interesting aspects is that both can roost. Uh, while they're not the most defensively capable Pokemon, they're still able to do just so, which is worth keeping in mind, consider what the few things that the other one can do over the other. Uh, and of course, Defog. While Defog is definitely not desirable in this typing, uh, it should definitely be said that being able to Defog is a very, very big thing good strength in league capabilities, but as said as a whole, not the most interesting defoggers, but they're being able to do just so, and that makes them a bit more interesting. Now, with those shared moves out of the way, we're going to talk about Venomoth first, because Venomoth has, well, been around for the longest time. Now, Venomoth, since it has, of course, its secondary typing and poisons, of course it gets its secondary typing stab in Sludge Bomb and Venoshock, both of these moves very, very good. Uh, stab moves of Venomoth together with the likes of being able to actually set up Toxic Spikes which is a very very strong thing to be able to do uh, since it can fill a defensive role it's very good to be able to actually capitalize on that uh, it also gets to reflect uh, we have the stun move, the stun spore and sleep powder on Venomoth which is something that it actually is missing on uh, John Mega which is a very very good thing to have as stated here um, being filled into the defensive role, being able to actually nerf other Pokemon is a very, very strong thing to be able to do. Uh, other than that, it should definitely be said that we get access to Morning Sun if you want to capitalize on the Sun team. Do not do that. We were able to do so. We also have Tailwind. Uh, and one of the most interesting aspects, of course, about the Venomoth is that it does get Quiver Dance. And Quiver Dance, of course, boosts your special attack, special defense, and speed by one. And since it had Tinted Lens already, it's very clear that Venomoth can be incredibly scary, really really fast so that's why Venomoth basically is one of the scariest Pokemon in Smogun tier based in Yuyu for example it's it's a dangerous Pokemon to be able to deal with while its stance doesn't really give does it justice in any fashion it is easily the best quiver dancer due to the tinted lens and the filler moves it gets so what could John Mega offer since of course it lacks actually the quiver dance well, it does have a few tricks of its sleeve, and overall they are very, very interesting due to it. Uh, Jamega, of course, secondary typing. Flying means it has a secondary typing stab, which is, of course, Air Slash, which is a very, very good one at that. It doesn't have Hurricane, it doesn't need Hurricane, but it's a very, very good overall thing to capitalize on. Uh, Jamega also has a filler move in Asian Power, which definitely does help acquire a lot if you don't want to capitalize on uh, using Tinted Lens, able to actually capitalize on using you will say with aging power does solve a lot. We also have Shadow Ball Yamega, which is a decent filler move at best. 
but what does make John Megaston a little bit more in Venomoth is its physical move pool. While physically it isn't that interesting, it just have more power over Venomoth, but at the same time it still is a lot of lustering attacks that it does get still pursued, which could be very, very easy to capitalize on. We have reversal to get a focus at speed reset can be very, very, very scary fast. But that's pretty much wraps up with John Mega. John Mega does have a decent filler move aspect, but as stated before here, their primary move is Tinted Lens Bug Bus. That's going to be their primary move that they're going to capitalize on. So it basically becomes whether or not it's lacking Quiver Dance does make it less desirable. John Mega as a whole has better stat total than Venomoth, but Venomoth has clearly Quiver Dance. It has a broader filler move in accordance when it comes to Sleep Powder, uh, Stun Spore, and be able to set up tailwinds and it just it screams that it could be able to with quiver dance and minor roost to be a very very interesting defensive pokemon to be forced to be dealing with which could be very very annoying while your mega as a whole it's a specs user with bug buzz most of the time can capitalize on speed boost focus sash and just overall be very annoying with that in mind so it comes down to whether or not the quiver dance from venomob is more desirable and the speed boost capabilities and when it comes to this in singles, I would say that Venomoth is slightly stronger, but as a whole, I do believe John Mega has more to offer in Venomoth, and that is basically what it boils down to. John Mega has more moves, more capabilities involved with his offensive lead than Venomoth, and as a whole, becomes better due to it. And while the typing itself kind of stands, that Venomoth has, well, the better typing, uh, it does have the worst stance overall, and I do believe John Mega is the imminent threat here. Uh, I do believe that they both have the same issues to rocks, even though Jamega falls faster due to it. But it's, it's been stronger, it's been faster, so they might as well be switching as many times, even with the rocks' weaknesses in mind. And even at that, I do believe to create a team for both of these Pokemon, you need to solve the rocks issue anyway. So if you're going to use any of these, I definitely say Jamega, due to his offensive presence, uh, really is more desirable in my honest opinion. And now with that said guys, what do you guys think? Because I know this is a matchup that definitely comes down to personal preferences because Venomoth is a monster on its own and it's known for the best Quiver Dancer in the game to get with Volcarona. So I'm definitely taking the high road here and just going with my own feeling here and I really really hope you guys agree with me and if you don't, um, I do understand why not because Venomoth is an incredible Pokemon. Jamega just stands out a little bit more. And now with that said guys, of course, thank you as always for watching and uh, join us next time when we're going to look upon these monsters.